Hi, Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk about something that's messing up your eyes and you probably don't even realize it. It's called blue light. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to try to sell you some weird pair of glasses that are going to magically improve your vision. I'm just going to talk about the fact that different wavelengths of light actually work differently with our brain and how we process things. For example, a more of a blue color light is more daylight and that in causes us to create something called cortisone and that helps us wake up and get lively. Meanwhile, at nighttime as things get into sunset and darker colors and there's less blue, then what happens is we end up creating something called melatonin and that actually helps us go to sleep, it helps us relax and what happens is that you, like me, probably spend a lot of time looking at computers or screens at night and this ends up being a real problem because your sleep cycle gets damaged and it gets even worse with children because children spend a lot of time looking at screens and they're more sensitive to light. And here's where it gets even worse is that there's all sorts of data that shows that macular degeneration, one of the most common causes of blindness, is now exacerbated by these blue frequencies. So, enter a company called Reticare, R-E-T-I-C-A-R-E. -E. So, I want to show you what they have. Let me get my little iPad active. So here's my iPad and I'm looking at, as I do often late at night, I'm in the Kindle app and I'm reading an ebook. The problem is, is that it's very blue. Now in the app I can actually change the settings, but what I really like is that Reticare has this filter, right? It's actually a screen protector, but it also filters out the blue light. So I hope you can see there, it's sort of a more yellow and this is actually a bit exaggerated because I have two screen protectors at the same time because that's just how they ship it. But what it does is it gives you a screen protector that also filters out those harmful wavelengths and that's really a cool idea. So let me cut to showing you my attempt at putting this thing on my iPad mini and then we'll come back and talk again. All right, we're gonna go for it. So this is kind of tricky, but they have a neat little design here where it comes with these little trays, you put them together and there's another piece you can put in, but I'm going to choose not to. The idea is that they just want to keep your device nice and steady. So you got that. And now, next step is we're just going to make sure it's clean. Always a good idea before you put a screen protector on it. And it comes with a cleaning um, pad. And you can do that too. Let's go ahead and use the cleaning pad. And these are usually just alcohol, so not too much exciting going on in here. And give it one last pass for good luck. And when I look at the screen, it looks, looks good. I've had this iPad mini a long time, so it's in remarkably good shape. So do that, make sure it's all perfect. And now the, the tricky part. So if you look, there's a two and there's a one. And what we need to do is we want the one up and you can see there's a slot. So we wanna have that over the button. So we want to, and this always makes me a little anxious, we wanna peel the adhesive off. Of course, there's two. So maybe the first thing we should do is put one aside. And now we're just working with one. So we want to peel off the adhesive layer and then, so now's the trickiest part because we want to align this without touching that surface. So there's two holes we need to line up and that looks just about perfect. Now comes with this nifty little squeegee rubber thing so we can use that to get bubbles out and see how that works pretty easy I got a big huge bubble right around there but I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself because I got one other thing we need to do which is peel off the second part so we'll do that and now we have our screen protector on, and you can see you got a nice picture there. And if we go to here, so you don't see really any difference. You can't, you know, you can see 
it's not like suddenly the screen's way dimmer or a really weird color. And in terms of the bubbles and such, all we have to do is just, it's kind of fun, you just spend a minute or two massaging the bubbles out of the plastic. And then the way these modern technologies work is it takes a little while for it to fully set and it sort of adheres itself to the surface. So we'll work on that one right around the camera, but otherwise you can see that's it, done. So that wasn't too bad. It was basically like putting on a screen protector on a cell phone, only maybe a little larger. The important thing is now I can actually read my ebooks and I can lay in bed and not worry so much about that blue light. Now, those of you that are really tracking have probably are thinking that, isn't there something called Night Shift that's coming in iOS 9.3 that's supposed to solve this? And you're right, Apple actually recognizes this blue light as a problem, and they're implementing something that's already in the Kindle, not Kindle software, but the Kindle hardware, that actually changes your um, light color scheme, basically, on your screen for late at night so that it gets more reddish and you end up with less of that blue light. So yeah, it's coming in iOS, but I'm worried more about my kids picking up my devices and spending hours on them. So Night Shift is gonna end up being probably from like, you know, you set a start time and at that point until dawn, then it's automatically gonna be shifting and getting a little less blue on your screen. But I'm worried about the rest of the time too. If it's not such a big deal, then there's no reason not to do this. And Reticare, it's $39.99. You can pick them up from reticare.com and it's a screen protector too. So honestly, I don't see much of a reason not to put one of these on your iPad or iPad mini or other tablet device um, and help your eyes and help your kids and have a better world and mostly be able to sleep at night, which would be a really nice thing, don't you think? Anyway, this is Dave Taylor. Hope you found this interesting and see you in my next video.